What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com and this is part 4 of our Raspberry Pi cluster computer video series. Now in this video I'm going to show you guys how to create a program that runs on the cluster. So let's get started. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is open up PuTTY and type in the IP address of your main node. The same node that you created the machine file that had the IP addresses of all the other Pi's. So mine's is 192.168.1.6. Hit enter. Now type in the username. The username should be pi, and the password should be raspberry. Hit enter. Let it run. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is create a program that, that runs on the pi. We're going to be using Python. Python is a programming script that can run on a cluster. So to create a Python program, we have to first type in nano, hit space. I'm going to call mine green, and we have to type in dot py. If you don't type in the dot py, it won't work. So now we're going to hit enter. So here we have to type in the code for the program. Now I'm going to open up my notepad here and I have some sample code. I'm going to copy this sample code here and I'm going to paste it onto here. Now I'm going to leave a link to this code in the description if you're interested. But uh, this is a simple Python program and uh, I'm going to explain exactly what the program is going to do. Over here we declared a variable, we called this variable a and we made it equal to integer 4, right? Then it prints out a. In the next line we're going to create another variable, we call this variable b and b equals 12 plus 5. Then it prints out the value of b here. Now the third line here uh, we, we declared another variable, we called this variable c. We said c equals b percent symbol a. I'm going to change this around a little bit. I'm going to say C equals B times, let's say, uh, A, and let's make A have a value of like a, a million. So one, let's get, make A have a value of a million. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So A equals a million, B equals 12 plus 5, C equals B times A. So down here it's going to print out the value of C. Now, a simple program. Uh, but this program is going to be able to run on our cluster, and I'm going to show you how to run the program on the cluster. So now it's, now we have to save it. To save it, we have to hold Control, hold down 6, and X at the same time. This should pop up, prompting you to save or not. Type in Y, then hit Enter. So now we saved our file. Uh, we have a Python file we call green.py. Now the next step here, we're going to have to save this file or transfer this file to our other pies in the same directory. All right, now to do that, we're going to copy this line of code here and I'm going to paste it onto here. Now, this line of code here, all it's doing is copying our file. First, we have to change a few things. Uh, first, make sure you type in the IP address here of your first pi, whatever the IP address of your first pi is, pi01. Mine is dot six for pi01. So, and then we're going to change this from blue.py to green.py. I just tested this out earlier, so that's why I called it blue.py. But we're going to change blue to green. So now we're going to hit enter. So what, so now we also have to type in the password. The password is raspberry. Hit enter. So now it's saved uh, that into that specific directory in the first pi. So again, for this to work, you have to save the same file in, in the same directory in all the pies. So now we're going to paste this again. Now now we're going to do the same thing with pi02. My IP address for pi02 is dot .4. It changed from the last video because sometimes the IP addresses will change on devices if you don't turn them on or you turn them off wrong or something. It is weird. But if, if you find that your IP address of your Pi changed, you have to update the machine file or else this won't work. So my second Pi is dot four. Again, we're going to change this from blue to green. So I'm just going to update this file with exactly what I'm doing now so you don't have to change anything. Yourself. You'll, you'll only have to change the dot six if you download it from my description. So now we're going to hit enter. So now we're going to do the same thing with pi3. So I'm going to paste this again. I'm going to change it to dot .8 because my pi3 is dot .8. And again, we're going to change blue to green. And hit enter. Now we're going to do the same thing with pi4. So I'm going to paste this again. I'm going to change the IP address from dot .6 to dot .9 because my IP address for my Pi 4 is dot .9. Again, yours could be different. You have to plug in yours. And we're going to change it from blue.py to green.py. Hit enter. 
Now we successfully saved our program in the same directory in all our pies here. So now the next step is to run the program itself. To run the program itself, I'm going to copy this line of code here. This line of code will allow us to run the program in all the pies at the same time. It'll use the resources of all the pies to run the program. Now we're going to paste this here. We got to do a few things. Again, we got to change this from blue.py to green.py. Again, because I tested it earlier and I created a file called blue, but now I'm showing you how to create it on your own. So we changed it to dot green. So green.py is our file. And uh, all we have to do now is hit enter. Now, as you can see, it worked. It printed all the processes down here. The first line of code, again, it printed out 1 million. Second line printed out 17. The third line printed out 17 million. So, it, and it printed out uh, five different processes. You could change the different processes if you want. But uh, to, to change the processes, you have to just delete five here and make it to whatever you want. You can make it one. So, I'm going to copy this here. I changed it to one. I'm going to paste it onto here. Again, I'm just going to change blue to green. And it should be dot pi. Hit enter. And it did the same thing, but in one process. It's using all the pies, by the way. It doesn't matter how many processes you choose. It's using all the pies to get this uh, answer. So again, this is a simple program. You could create more complex programs that take up more resources that'll take a lot more time to do that'll take more advantage of the cluster environment but i just wanted to show you a simple program to show you how to actually run it on the pi itself and how to get the entire cluster uh trying to solve this program so that's pretty much it for this video if you guys like this video please give me a like if you want more videos like this please subscribe to my channel i'm rissin from rossmertech.com and thanks for watching